What's happening, everyone? It's been a long time, but I am still alive. Uh, anyway, today is not a gaming video. It's a video about Joy to Key. This is mostly aimed towards the customers of Advanced Simulation products that had bought one of the ASP boxes. Maybe a little trouble getting it set up, uh, getting the CB mic to work with ATS multiplayer. Anyway, go to joy2key.net. I will have a link in the description below. Go ahead and do the download. Do uh, whatever the instructions say, you know, install and whatnot. Uh, if you do like the program, you can give the guy $7 USD. It is not required. It is 100% free. I've been using it for about a year. Works great. Never had a problem with it. Anyway, you can have multiple um, profiles, and they associate to each individual game EXE that you tell it to, and it auto-detects. So I'll show you here in just a second how to get it all set up. So you see here, I mean, you know, I have multiple profiles going on. Some don't have button assignments, some do. Whatever. Anyway, go up to File, click New, name it whatever you want. This one will just do Test Profile. Now you have your Test Profile out. You can uh, you can rename it, delete it, you know, whatever. You really can't uh, mess it up too bad. Uh, down at the bottom also you can do a Create uh, Profile. So go to Settings, Associate Profiles with Applications. Go ahead and click that. Let me bring that down. Now, the application names and the associated profiles and, and so on is what you name it. So go ahead and click the Add button. Again, name it whatever you want. Uh, for this, we could do ATS. Now, when you click Capture Application Info, this will auto-detect the game or the program that is in the forward window, what's selected. Three seconds usually enough, you can change it to whatever you want, click capture, give it five seconds and click into the game that you're trying to assign it to. It'll pop back up and say, hey, is this the uh, the file name that you're talking about? Double check everything, make sure it's right. Now this picked up Chrome because it's running on another monitor. That was the only thing open, I didn't have a game open. Associate the profile that you just made, test profile to this, then click OK and it's all set up. Now, if you have more than uh, what joysticks that it's showing you. You see it flashing green. I'm pressing a button on the button box. If it wasn't detected, uh, go into options. It's telling you six joysticks are detected. Change it over to six. Refresh it. Now all six of my peripherals are showing. Button box, steering wheel, throttle quadrant, joystick, uh, the Eaton shifter. Everything is detected now. Whatever the computer sees as a joystick, this program will also see as a joystick. See, flip switch on my throttle quadrant. You know, you get it flashing there. So all you gotta do is hit a button on one of your things like that. Again, I'm hitting the button on the joystick uh, on the uh, on the button box. Flashes green. That's the one I need to go into and program. So as far as programming, uh, let's just say you wanted the letter T. You can name it whatever the function is, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just press T, for example. When you're done, click OK, and now you'll see the function is T, and the comment or the note, whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, it says comment up top. It's press T. So if it was drop axle, for example, I would have typed drop axle. So now, if you have the CB mic, usually it's on button 31. You know, go in, open it up, assign it to V, and just name it whatever you want. ATSMP push to talk. So now, when you go into the game, it will detect that button box that, for my setup, is on joystick 2. I start the game, now the button on the joystick, uh, on the uh, CB mic is now the letter V. Also for the microphone, go into your recording settings and set the CB mic as your default microphone because the ATSMP does not allow you to change that and it's going to go at the default mic. Again, very simple program to use. You can use it for anything. You can also use it in games that do not support uh, joysticks or gamepads such as GTA for example. Use my button box for my GTA Online gameplay uh, to control the police lights and the sirens and, and whatever else that I choose to, you know, assign to the button box. So, short and sweet, if you guys have any questions, I might not have covered it, I am short on time, but I wanted to get this out to you guys to help you out, get it all set up so you're not frustrated with that end of it. Uh, if I didn't cover something, go ahead and put it down below in the comments, I will answer them as fast as I can. Other than that, thanks for coming by, thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of Advanced Simulation Products and Evil PC Gaming. 
Till next time, guys.